This winter we've set ourselves the challenge of relying solely on our solar power system and keeping our generator off all winter. We've been asked many times whether or not we think it's possible to rely completely on solar through the winter in the UK and having only done one winter before, we don't really know the answer. We know it's really difficult, we don't know many people who claim that they can do it, so we're going to give it a go and see if it's possible with our system. We've been depending on the generator a lot recently. This autumn's been really grey, the weather has been horrendous and also we've been really busy and with two small children keeping up on laundry and things like that involves using appliances that drain a lot of power. With fuel costing £37 per can now, we're just not in a position to use the generator as much as we have previously. And so that's why we've set ourselves this challenge and we hope that you'll join us for the journey. Let's have a quick system recap. We have 2,355 watt solar panels on the roof of the barn that we built a couple of years ago. Our system consists of seven Pylon Tech US 3000C batteries. However, one of the batteries is currently not integrated into the system. It had to be sent away for repairs, but more about that later. Our system is made up mostly of Victron components, including the Serbo GX and the touchscreen, two Victron MPPTs of different sizes, and the Quattro 10 kVA 48 volt inverter. Using our Victron Serbo GX to look at our previous data, it isn't looking very good. 17% of our power was generated by the generator last year. So what we're going to aim to do is we're going to aim to reduce that number, preferably down to zero, but realistically probably what we're more likely to do is get it down to about 5%. I think it's important to note that last winter we didn't modify our behaviour at all. I was heavily pregnant with Albie. Albie was born at the end of February. I had Grace as well, who was 17 months when Albie was born. So she was 14 to 17 months through winter. So as you can imagine, I was choosing convenience over power saving methods. The tumble dryer, the washing machine, they were getting used regularly because I just wasn't in a position to be trying to save energy by hand washing things and then hanging it all out on the line and then having to get it in 10 minutes later because it was raining. That didn't help matters, that definitely drove up the number and that's something that we can hopefully cut back now that I am no longer pregnant but still on maternity leave which means I've still got the benefit of some time, not a lot of time, I still have two children aged two and under and they keep me pretty busy but more time and more capability than previously. Having said that, the data for autumn is not really reflecting that because it's really bad. September, not so bad, but the last few weeks, particularly the last month has been really shocking, really gray, really dark, and the power just hasn't been coming in. So we have been using the generator. The last 30 days it has been 11% and this is autumn. We're not even at the solstice yet so we're not even at the worst of it. This is not good. And whilst it's a beautiful sunny afternoon, it has been raining all morning, so even now the batteries are only at 72%. Even though they are in glorious sunshine at the moment, it just isn't enough to get those batteries full. It's not like those beautiful summer months where it gets to nine o'clock and your batteries are full and you've got surplus power and you don't know what to do with it and you need 10 tumble dryers to be able to use it all. But that's the irony of it, isn't it? When you don't need to use the tumble dryer, you've got all the power to use it and then when you need it because it's raining every five minutes you don't have the power but hey that's off-grid life <laughs> so that's where we're at at the moment but we have a plan so here's the plan so firstly we've got some changes that we can make to our environment we've noticed that the conifers which are growing near to the panels are shading them in the morning so those are going to be cut back Fraser's going to get on that as soon as possible we think that by trimming that back we can gain some of that early sunshine which we're missing out on. So that's gonna make a difference when it's sunny, if it's sunny. Then of course, we've got our seventh Pylon Tech battery to reinstall. If you haven't heard the ins and outs of that journey, then there's a few videos going through it, so I won't give all the details here. But basically, we've had problems with one of our batteries on and off from the moment that we bought it. It's never been right, and we've had multiple error messages being displayed. Um, it took us a long time to get hold of Pylon Tech. In the end, they found us on YouTube and watched some of our videos and thought they'd quite like to help us, which they have, hopefully. So um, the battery's been away for a couple of weeks. It's now back and the job for this coming weekend is to reinstall it into our system. Hopefully, all going well, that will mean that we get a seventh of our battery storage back, which will make a huge difference. We have really felt the absence of that battery through the autumn. We're really looking forward to increasing our storage and having that battery back. So, um, yeah, 
that hopefully will be our next video. Watch this space to see how it goes. Like I alluded to earlier, we've also got the option of modifying our behavior. We definitely need to look at washing. We're gonna try and maximize the use of our barn, which might help us to dry um, some of our smaller things, maybe some of the kids' clothes, which are a bit smaller, that could help. We're just gonna to have to try and time it better, maximize on those sunny days, and just not just run it whenever we want. So another thing is that we do have a wood burner in our home and we could definitely look to rig up a bit of a drying system in there. We do try to keep it to a minimum because of the damp that it can cause, which isn't very pleasant. But if we use it when we're desperate, then that would definitely be a way that we can get some washing dry without having to worry about using the tumble dryer and draining all that energy. Things that aren't included in the plan are expanding our system. At the moment we haven't got the budget to add anything to our system, so we won't be adding a wind turbine anytime soon, we won't be adding more panels, we won't be adding more batteries. I know there's always the debate of panels versus batteries, what should you add? Ideally we'd probably have more of everything, um, but then wouldn't we all? That's not going to be happening, so we're just going to have to make do with what we've got. So the challenge we've set ourselves is going to run from the 1st of December to the 28th of February. I know this all sounds a little bit flippant, really. Um, you know, oh, can we go three months without using our generator? What's at stake? Apart from budget, you know, we're fortunate that we're not in a desperate situation. But I think the reality is that other people are, and um, we're not taking that lightly. We know that we're really privileged to have a solar power system that can provide the majority of our power through the winter, even if not all of it. When I speak to family members about how they're coping with their bills, it's shocking. And we've noticed in our area there's a big increase in people who are living in vans. And I know members of the community have spoken to them and they are opting for van life because they've lost their homes. So this is, whilst this is kind of, you know, a bit of fun in a way, it's based on a really serious topic and we know that. Hopefully this will help to answer questions for people who are looking to potentially install solar, whether it be completely off grid or grid tied. On some of our previous solar videos, we've noticed that people don't want to see those beautiful sunny days where people showcase their data and go, look at all this solar power I am generating and look at my, you know, look at how well it's going. People don't want to see that. What people want to see from my experience is when it's going wrong. <laughs> because you need to know the worst of it, not just the best of it. So we're happy to share that with you. We're always happy to be honest. So hopefully that honesty will provide you with the information that you need to make informed decisions. So stick with us. If you are somebody who is desperately struggling to pay their energy bills, we are gonna put some links in the description below for support. Also, if you know any other useful websites, please put them in the comments below. Hopefully it will be useful, and if not, you can have a good laugh at us sitting in the dark because we can't turn our lights on because we don't wanna put our generator on. <laughs> To make sure that you don't miss any of our upcoming videos, please consider subscribing and click the notification bell so that YouTube lets you know when a new video comes out. And if you'd like some more information on exactly what's been going on with these Pylon Tech batteries, you might want to watch this video here.